rescued at sea and waiting for a new life to begin. These migrants have all registered asylum claims in Italy, but others want to live elsewhere in Europe. You won't see their faces in this reception center because they've already checked out. Some of them disappear, some of them stay, but most of them disappear, most of them, the majority. This isn't a prison. The migrants here at this reception centre are free to come and go as they please. The only problem is many of them do just go. And every day brings fresh arrivals. The exhausted staff have no time to police who's coming and who's going. It's not our duty, you know, to have the control of with them. Our uh, duty is to give them support, recover them, give them one food, one bed, something like that, and try to help them in as well as we can. Where the migrants end up isn't the only concern. The Italian authorities worry about where they're from. Most set off from Libya, a power base of the so-called Islamic State. There are fears that jihadists could be hidden among the migrants. Maybe a slight minority uh, could be involved in criminal activities or uh, maybe in terrorism. We have to take it on board and we have to consider that uh, as a potentially uh, current or future threat. The migrants are supposed to have their names and fingerprints taken as soon as they disembark. But many just race here to the train station where they buy tickets to head north. The EU's passport-free Schengen zone means no one stops them at borders. Local politicians fear that could be asking for trouble and want the Schengen system overhauled. È un pericolo perché è una immigrazione clandestina. It's a real danger because this illegal immigration is uncontrolled. We don't know who could be hidden in the boats. No one's registered. So it's very dangerous to have these unidentified migrants wandering freely through Sicily, Italy and Europe. Slipping out for a walk or slipping out of the system? Would anyone notice if they didn't come back? Emma Jane Kirby, BBC News, Sicily.